Hello. No. I'm not going grocery shopping. I'm going to be opening this box up here from my incubator and seeing how our growing of the grossness has done. Well, this is probably going to be the last time that I do this. I want to get rid of this stuff because it's probably getting to the point of being somewhat dangerous. Uh, make sure my gloves are on good. Make a cool little sound. All right, so got the mask, got the gloves, got my Clorox. I'm going to be disposing of them in a new Ziploc bag, pouring a little bit of bleach in there and I'm also just because I want to be completely safe throw one or two of these in the bag also to kill all of it once we're done looking at it. So let me get this out of the way. And now hopefully I can take the tape off of this without it getting too stuck to me. Let's see. Oh, yep, my cameraman can do this. After this, he's going to wash his nasty hands. Okay, good enough. All right. Preparing to get knocked down by the nasty smell once I open this thing up. Oh, we got some great looking colonies here. Okay, this is number one, the Clorox white light switch. Yes, it smells awful. I'll put the light over here. Yeah, it's 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 whew, it it is a uh, quick pungent. It is pungent. All right, we do have some colonies here. The bright yellow is probably more than likely staff. I have no idea what this is, but this just goes to show that if you go back and look at the video that I did when I wiped down that light switch with that Lysol, it didn't kill everything. And I did a really good job cleaning that part of the light switch. These things, these things are pretty resilient. Ugh, yeah, it, this is just bad. This one is toxic. I don't even really want to be touching this container. This is number two. This is the other side of the light switch. We can look and see. We've got some weird looking, uh, weird looking bacteria growing here. We also have what looks to be some kind of a fungus growing on there. That's pretty, pretty, pretty awful. That's, oh yeah, that's, that's really, really, really bad. Whew. The Apple remote, which has been thoroughly cleaned. And by the looks of this dish, I'm going to clean it again. Now we got some really horrific stuff going on in here. Dude, chill. You gonna pass out on me? All right. There's something that I, I don't know what it, that is. See that little dark spot in there? That's pretty gross. But we have, look at that bright orange. We got some staff. And that's, that's pretty gross. Oh, some new stuff. Oh, this one, it just gets worse. The smell gets worse and worse and worse. This is my phone staff. Look at the colony right here. It's growing like it's towering. It's growing up. Looks like a little stud. Yeah, it's just uh, nastiness. Is this Gunther, Gunther's tongue? No, this is the front door knob coming. Where was Gunther's tongue? It's, we haven't even gotten it there yet. No. Hey, surprisingly, this is somewhat clean. This is the front door knob. I don't see any fungus on it, which is good. Got a new type of colony right here, something pink. 
again we have some more of these little towering colonies right here uh, the bright amber is most likely staph staphylococcus it's a bacteria uh, huh. all right if you guessed Gunther's mouth or the back door floor you were probably right I'm trying to build up my courage to actually get in there and, and take this out oh Tell you, if we do this as a school thing next year, we're going to, we're going to, after we swab, oof, we're going to put Gorilla Tape all, all the way around the edges. That is some nastiness. There's some, there seems to be some light fungus growing there, and there seems to be some kind of a dark fungus growing in there, if you can see that. Mmm. And the usual staff and and whatever this is, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna look this up and see what we can find out on that. All right. The first one looks clean now. Yeah, you almost want to lick that. I'm just kidding. You don't ever want to do that. That that would be just. I don't even want to touch this. So we're not gonna touch this. We're just going to video it through this bag right here. There is all kinds of fungus growing on looks your like, dog's feet. Now, it looks like crushed ice. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little something here that you can whew, that you can uh, you can do at home. Uh, but don't do it for very long. Uh, I'll have to look this back up cuz it just occurred to me. Uh, a friend of mine who's a microbiologist uh, did an experiment one time with a scout and he held, he had these paper bags and we all sniffed them. And we sniffed this one and it smelled just like corn chips. Next time your dog is just kind of laying around taking a nap or something, smell their feet. Sometimes their feet, don't get too close, but smell your, waft it. Remember how we do the wafting in science? We just kind of waft something like that. I don't want to do that. Uh, we just kind of waft the smell to us because sometimes you stick your nose into chemicals and you get an overwhelming uh, dose of whatever the chemical is. You don't want to be doing that, so you waft, huh, waft the stuff towards you. Um, that is actually some kind of a, I think it's a bacteria that's out, that grows in your yard naturally. And so your dog's feet can smell like corn chips. I'm going to double check that and, uh, and if it, if I'm not right that it's a bacteria, if it's a fungus, I'll make sure to put that in the put that in the comment section. But yeah, I don't even want to identify this. So here, put, let's see, we're gonna get one last shot at these because they're gonna go away. This one is scaring me. This one is scaring me, and this one right here scares me a whole lot. So, That's the worst. so we do know now the importance to thorough, uh, thoroughly washing your hands, especially during our quarantine right now. Uh, this ought to tell you that even though you've wiped it down really well with Lysol, you're still going to have some of these colonies survive. You look at all these bottles and it says it kills 99% of viruses and bacteria. 99.9% .9 is not 100%. And as we learned uh, in the, the first part of the sem semester, natural selection happens. These things, they alter their DNA. They can become resistant. And that's what happens. That, that's directly uh, associated with, uh, with an evolving DNA structure, is some of these things can become uh, can withstand our cleaners and then when they multiply they're passing those genes on to the next generation of grossness and all of a sudden your stuff doesn't work as well as it used to so just remember washing the stuff is not foolproof you need to be thorough with it cut that off all right now we're going to properly dispose of this stuff
first thing we're gonna do put on a little bleach because it's gonna make the house smell a whole lot better too we don't need a whole lot but we are going to gently put these in here now if you decide to order this stuff off of Amazon and do this yourself that's fine you probably don't need to go as long as I did with it this is what day six or something like that seven, I think. Uh, you don't need to uh, to do it as long as I did okay I'm gonna zip, it out. Yeah. zip this up first Now, I'm gonna take these gloves off. I'm gonna double bag it. this in here as well as this and now I'm lessening the volume of the bag there we go all right so all right, so to uh, let's kind of go over our results really quickly. So if you said that the Clorox white light switch was the one that was going to be the least contaminated, congratulations, you were correct. Uh, the next least one, least, would be uh, the front door knob. Uh, it didn't have any fungus growing in it, and that's a good thing because fungus can be um, really toxic uh, so to be honest we would have to probably have a microbiologist come over and identify the things on number six and number seven to figure out which one was actually worse so if you guessed Gunther's mouth the back door floor where the dogs go in and out uh, you can probably have we have enough data on that to say that you could be right on any on either one of those cases uh, I would probably give the edge to maybe <laughs> Gunther's mouth sorry Gunther come here big boy come here big boy You're, you are officially the dirtiest thing in the household yeah you are don't give me a kiss and big boy, you're my big boy. So uh, I would say uh, the least was the clogged light, light switch, which tells us the importance of cleaning. And the dirtiest one was probably, probably Gunther's mouth. So there you have it, there's the experiment. I'm done with this, it's gross. I'm probably gonna go take a shower before oh, I finish up any of the more, uh, any more lesson plans, because that's just disgusting. So, all right, so I'll see you uh, in a little while. Thanks for watching. Wash your hands.